start with uh, Blades and Beers, Volume 2. Together with my guest now is Janice. Uh, Janice, is your background? Uh, background? My background? Uh, it's right here. <laughs> Literally. Uh, well, uh, when I was a kid, I uh, didn't really did it EBC and stuff like that, but uh, I keep on um, jacking the knives of my father, especially um, Swiss Army knives and my mother's, bringing them in school and then hurting myself in the process and opening and closing stuff. So it started from there. I, I believe I was like grade one. No unang cut ko talaga na Swiss Army knife and I was in school. Naalala ko na may fish pan doon. Doon ko pa hinugasan yung kamay ko para hindi manotis ang teacher. Pero nagkaroon ng blood stains rin yung polo ko. So walang escape. <laughs> Tapos, uh, from there, when I was in college, I was actually EDC in a gas station night lang na nabili ko dati sa US na nag-vacation ako. And then, from then, I saw the use of a knife and um, transcended from that into higher-end EDC stuff. When I lived and worked in the U.S. before. Um, that's when my um, interest really started na learning EBC apalantaw doon, everyday carry. Kasi nung college ako, it wasn't that, um, I wasn't into that um, um, term pa. I, I didn't know it's EBC. So, yeah. Then, from there, I was like, more on sword collecting. So, I had a katana first and uh, of course pop culture katana from katanas i went to a cutlery shop and then i was open with other night um uh to see and then i was like questioning why are those expensive and i go it, it, it's uh sometimes more than the price of one katana and it's like shit why <laughs> It's still stainless steel. So I didn't know about metallurgy that time. So opened up YouTube, um, studied them on YouTube, saw some knife reviews, and then that's when, oh, okay, so carbon content, nickel, chromium, and stuff like that. Yeah, now I understand why. And plus art, uh, craftsmanship, and stuff like that. So yeah, from there on, I think my first... Um, budget-friendly knife na hindi gas station uh, was a Kershaw um, wala na kasi sa akin binigay ko sa sister ko sa Amerika it was a Kershaw it was a very small knife from then on it was a speed assist and from there on ah Kershaw blur yata yun blur something it was very very small from there on nag-transcend na ako budget-friendly and budget-friendly and going to my first um Expensive purchase, it was the Zero Tolerance 50560. Uh, five, I think it was the first Hinder design. Yeah. No, the second one with Zero Tolerance, the one with the taking um, frame lock and L Max steel. It was the flipper. Yeah. Is that still with you? Then, sorry? Is that still with you? Uh, no. Na wala ko siya sa baklara na nagpapos. I was heartbroken. Kasi susunod ko yung wife ko nun dati. Baba akong baklara, from baklara ng taxi ako. Pabot sa Makati. Dun sa Enterprise Buildings. So pag baba akong Enterprise Building, na, na, nabigla ako. Where's my freaking knife? It was in my pocket earlier. So inisip ko, baka nandun lang sa taxi. So hinabot ko yung mga taxi. Hinanap ko yung taxi dun. Kasi i-traffic eh. Nakatlong taxi yata ako ng check. Katok ako, bukas ako. Nag-check ako. Yung pangatlong taxi, yun na pala yung taxi na nakuha ko. Tapos nag-check ako, wala. Doon, shit. Wala sa maklarang na hulo. <laughs> I so much regret losing that knife. Right now, it's discontinued already. It's always gonna be in secondary market. Uh, those are the biggest heartbreaks, eh. Kasi that, that, that's the same with my ZT also. My 0566. Um, I sold that off. You know, during the time that I, I really needed the cash at the time. Uh, tapos I had a lot of other knives anyway. Tapos ngayon discontinued na. I, I can't, 
it, it, it's hard to find an 0566. Yeah. yeah. There are some sources in the states, pero medyo hindi ko pa kinakasahin. Instead, I got the 0562. Yeah, man. <laughs> Those things happen. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? And I very much forget losing that knife. And then from there on, I na, knife enthusiast to EDC to going semi prepper. I'm not fully pledged prepper yet because I have a lot of knowledge to learn pa, yeah. and a lot of stuff to you know to uh, buy to be a full pledged prepper. So yeah, pero basic basic prepper prepping stuff like med kits and stuff like that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, actually, that's a that's a pretty um how should I say this? But um, so far from the people that I know, it's a very common story in in terms of uh, widening your um uh, interest in other things. Like you started with yeah. small knives, and then the bigger swords, and then prepping. But it's all intertwined, you know, especially what we have here in the country. So it's very very interesting there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're we're calling this uh, blades and beers, so we gotta drink to that. <laughs> um, I do not have. <laughs> I do not have beer. Oh, anyway, I'll, I'll just sip to that. <laughs> one of the one of the ideas of why I decided to chat with you because you know it's stuff like this we're basically recording you know just usual discussions that we have anyway um and one of the things that i'm curious to talk to you about is your complete copper set because you post a lot of your copper set and there's been a lot of copper craze with the edc community for like the past few years Ako, honestly i just got exposed to the copper um wave you know, uh, like during the start of the pandemic, it, it, it's one of those things that, um, you know, they created like the copper mask, the one also for a while, and uh, a lot of people were talking about the science of what copper does. So exactly. if you can apply that also with your other stuff, like your gear. Uh, that's when I started to think, oh hey, it's it's going to be interesting to have you know copper scales on my knives and stuff like that. So I started looking around and seeing a lot of you know available ones for like the spider balls and the other brands yeah, so it got me interested also um eventually i ended up with the crkt the lard uh i got the um copper pillar. uh pillar uh but i found the scale a little boring so i talked to a skull on instagram and i had them customized at uh-huh. the same time, I matched the bead from, ano, um, um, what do you call it? Custom Mags. No? So he has the, the, the matching bead for that as well. Um, what do you call it? So what, what got you interested in the copper um, scene or, or copper scales? That was uh, why complete the copper set. Uh-huh. Well, what got me interested really in copper was actually because I love flashlights. Mm-hmm. And then my most favorite flashlight unit, sa Olight, released a copper, um, a copper, uh, actually, uh, yeah, a copper, copper, um, what do you call that? Uh, model. model. So it was the S1 Baton Mini. That was my first copper. It was... Uh, uh, CR one two three battery, and then it's like five hundred lumens. Wala na sa akin yung binenta ni Mayo. Tatlo yung ganon ko, isang stainless steel, isang copper na rose gold coated, and then isang copper na Odex black. Pero copper sila inside. It was very heavy for a small light. Then after that, I went for raw copper because I wanted the patina, and it gave birth to the second favorite one. M2R um, copper edition. So, ayun, it's a very chunky light and a heavy light, actually, in the pocket. But since I loved it, I got used to pocketing it. And believe me not, it's like half a kilo for my whole copper set in my you know, in my body. Yeah. So I always have weights in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
But anyway, it, it, it's something that I would like to add also. Now, um, I mean, in 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 the ATC community, people talk about you know our our gear, our stuff being like jewelry or uh, usable jewelry. Um, so it's like the closest thing that you can have also as part of your of your gear to actual jewelry. I mean, gold may be a little too tacky or flashy for some people. Silver may just look like, you know, metal or aluminum. And copper really stands out if you put it in in, in your ear. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. It's a very good, so it's a very good um, dress EDC. Hmm. Like when you're wearing like your slacks or office attire or your um, Americana or whatever, the formal, formal, um, a triple A light would be nice in copper or maybe titanium or carbon fiber, something like that. Yeah. But since I have an affinity with copper, so here we go, copper. Yeah. Before it was titanium because when, when I was in US, it was titanium. Now I'm in copper. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, since we're, we're, we're at this, I am... Um... Can you give a runabout of your full set? Let's give us show and tell of your copper Okay. Set. All of my copper stuff right now, it began with this one, the M2R uh, Olight. I think this was only like um, 10,000 built worldwide. So it's already discontinued. It's a limited edition. It runs in an 1860 battery, 1,500 lumens. And then there's a selector switch here um, for other modes also has a magnetic tail, tail cap um, for charging also and then you actuate it from here and that's one for my 18650 the other one would be the lumen top prints this is also discontinued already it's a copper and carbon fiber um, flashlight it runs also an 18650 it only has a tail cap actuation first click it gives you a thousand lumens already that's his maximum brightness and then, what else? Uh, yeah, just three modes, low, medium, and high. That's it. That's... And then, two flashlights, the I3P um, Olight okay. in copper, and then I5T Olight in copper. Though so it runs in a triple A, this one, I3P. Yeah. It's in 15 lumens to 180 lumens maximum, two modes only. This one is runs in AA batteries. It runs uh, 15 lumens and 300 lumens maximum output. Two modes only. Two modes. Okay. So besides this, I do have this one, the open. Oh, okay. Two in copper. Uh, no, copper, I mean. And then it's a bolt action pen. So it's basically a fancy pen with a flashlight with a lot of modes. Maximum is 120 lumens. You could actually remove the flashlight so that when you're at night and you're writing, it's like your lamp. And then here's your pen. Makes it lighter too. Yeah. It's USB type C charge. So, good. Uh, uh, Sanity for the pandemic so that you uh, gotta stop touching stuff. I found this very useful when I was working on site pa nung I was with Amazon. Yeah. Uh, elevator pushing, pulling doorknobs and other doors and stuff like that. Um, picking up stuff that is in the ground that isn't mine. Uh, with rowing in ATMs using this so that Nico siya hawakan yung touchpad and stuff like that. Very, very useful. No una, I was skeptical. Will I really yeah, yeah. use it? I'm gonna pull it out in the pocket and hassle, hook, ganyan, ganyan. And then I might just touch the whole thing after. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing about top. It's antimicrobial. Yeah. Oh. Kaya na uso yung copper mask, which is yeah. hindi naman visible kasi ang laki ng buto sa ilalim yeah. and plus yeah. ni mo alam content 
nun. Kung gan- I don't know if it's really woven with a little copper on it, but hindi mo alam yung copper content yeah. nun para yeah. to prevent bacteria. It's true. Um, actually, right? like, like I was discussing here earlier, di ba? Yung that's what got into the mask na din. Uh, my wife also got parang a filter. Uh, we actually opened it up and saw it was really stitched na copper base na yan. But not all of the masks are like that. So, diba? Oh, kasi may mga fake rin. Yeah, may mga fake rin. Yan. It's funny that yun, yeah, you showed the sanity. I remember I messaged you before. I asked you about the the actual use of the sanity. Gila, gila. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so nagamit mo rin talaga. Okay. Uh, as in, gamit na gamit yung sa labas na yung nag-work ako. Mm, the other one would be the knives. This is a Benchmade Bug Out Mini. Uh, so it's actually a little bit pimp because it raised the scales from blue to copper. Okay. It, it's a bit replaced because the Omega Omega Springs are... I, I don't like the Omega Springs. It's very finicky when you remove them. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, 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 but it's worth. <laughs> it's one of my best looking pocket knives yeah, yeah. right now. One of my favorites, and yeah, the other one would be CVV uh, Dogma. Dogma, yeah. Copper scales also. So yeah, ito yung ginamit ko o para no. Hinat ko yung rosary ng dad ko from before siya i-cremate. It was a chain rosary, so very memorable na sa akin to. This won't never leave my side because this was used for my with my dad. Yeah. Yun. Cool, man. That's the thing, you know. Uh, a lot of our knives have stories behind them that makes it exactly. more valuable. Yeah. 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 That's awesome to hear. <laughs> like this one, actually. This is uh, the bow, right? I already showed you this before. Yeah. Pag inipan ko ito kasama si Papa. So, yeah, tell that ever. So, <laughs> yun. Nice. And so, that, that, that's basically your, ano, your, your set, no? Your uh, copper set? Or is there more? Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's coins. Ah, there. Very, very good. So that that's something that I want to get into with the discussions. The EDC coins. You know, um, it's been making waves. A lot of companies are making their own coins, and a lot of people are also wondering what they're for. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, for for me personally, like, um. How should I explain this? If someone's gonna ask me, you know, it's I find it similar to a lot of people collect currency. You know, uh, they collect bills, they collect coins from different countries. And I like when I was younger, I would collect basketball cards. You know, I think we all went through that phase, and we would bring the valuable ones with us around. Um, you know, as as, but um, it's it's a. Um, Memento, I guess. Parang it's um, you know, you're 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 showing your support for uh what you like. Uh, tapos at the same time, you know, um, like I said earlier, like I mentioned earlier, we treat our EVCs like jewelry, like pocket jewelry, and it's a perfect match. They have good details. Um, I remember one of the first that I have is a very simple one. I have here like an an offset uh COVID point. Which mm-hmm. was, you know, um, I remember he in an offset posted this as like um, an, an, a support thing for their barangay. Like whatever proceeds that they get from the coins, he's helped support the barangay as well. And it's good detail, so it matches, you know, your other year. Uh, I remember at that time, especially when the pandemic started, I got like the Glomo beads uh, from Airport. Yeah. That's like the COVID bead. And mm-hmm. it will match... Uh, now the coin in my pocket for, for that reason. I've heard other people say that, you know, for, for like minor things, uh, they, they actually use the coin for, you know, decision making and stuff like that. Pretty much like how DCs 
uh, Two Face would make decisions, tossing the coin. Um, that's how they would use it. Um, mm-hmm. So like, I, I'm kind of curious, like how how you know um, how do you think other people or other people in the community uh, treat the EDC coin? Why do they bring it, and why did you actually purchase your coins as well? Yeah, uh, got it. Um, well, for me, I'm just big, um, new in EDC coins, but these actually uh, got these coins when my dad died. Ang balak ko nito is one for me and then one for Papa. Hmm. I'll put it in the urn, and then one will I will keep. That's why it's a carp dame coin, like seize the day coin. So, pero yung family, ayaw. Kasi may bungu daw, may skull oh, kasi sa kabila. Yeah. So, you know, yung mga, yung mga oldies, ayaw. So, yeah. ayun. Parang negative ng perception nila. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, right? it's, like, it's, it's adding sentimental, sentimental, sentimental value again to, to your stuff. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. And then, yeah, I kept the two um, for place them about like they're she's pretending it's money <laughs> yeah, yeah and then the other one this one um this is uh a norse carp dame coin uh, it was given to me by my friend al he actually ordered it in advance uh under pip nung kachat kasi pit na magkakaroon ng Norse coin. Sabi niya sa akin, ang dami mo na binigay na regalo sa akin, ngayon lang nagkapera, yun ang extra, bigyan kita something ganito lang. I put, mm-hmm. And I was very, very grateful for this yeah. because I love the engravings and details on this one. There's two din with uh, Zephyr, his uh, eight-legged horse, and then this is a compass, the Norse compass that they use when they navigate the seas. This is the exact replica symbol. But I think the symbol of this one um, in, in tattoos is means it's either it's a protection or never lose your way, something like that. And yun, why I EDC coins right now? Uh, for me, it's a fidget. Getting bored, play around with the coin. And... Uh, Wala lang, parang gusto ko lang ito ng dumbakal kapag ginagayon ko. Parang nag-poker ka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People get annoyed though. <laughs> <laughs> Meditative din siya in that sense. Eh? <laughs> uh-huh. Exactly. And the thing is that I love with copper is that uh, it patinas in yeah, a good way. I gotta say. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's something I know. don't care about each good like i told you <laughs> diba, na parang, um, with the pillar I, I asked you before man what do you do with your gear parang, doesn't it patina like crazy um even as soon as you hold them i asked you if you clean it off and you didn't <laughs> you're just letting it patina all of it diba? yeah sometimes pag board ako yun mag flits na polishing compound ako oh. <laughs> Like, yeah, just okay, pag- I, I clean it off and then it patinas differently every time and that's actually pretty interesting. Exactly. Kasi iba yung touch spots mo eh. Oh, di ba? Oo. Pero eventually, pag tinamad ka na sa, ano, sa, sa patina niya, gusto mo hawakan na lahat para lahat pantay. <laughs> para pantay na ulit lahat. <laughs> Kasi minsan nauusi rin tayo sa gamit natin, di ba? Yeah, exactly. Yun naman eh. Use and abuse, but uh, really taken care of as well. Yeah. Cool. Tapos yun. Oh, yeah. Interesting fact about this one. Hmm. This took down a bad guy already. Oh, okay. Okay, like what? Yeah. Uh, waiting at the shuttle line. And then. Uh, I was, uh, we were waiting for the shuttle line. The shuttle was like um, very late. And then this girl was trying to update our shuttle services here in news. And then somebody took her back for a fly. Boom. And then 
uh, nakuha ka agad kasi siya nakagano lang siya eh tapos yung bag niya yung shoulder bag na babae typical na purse hmm. kung nakatak nakatak ng ganun syempre cellphone na nga huwag niya hindi matindi oh. nakatak agad boom tapos nakita ko katabi ako ng babae hinabol ko siya and then um, I leap forward and then hammer this on his head right here buti nga hindi nagkink eh Oh. <laughs> Mas inyong concern eh. Yun talaga eh. <laughs> oh, oh, yun yun eh. Yung idising eh. Inalala ko eh. Pinamahal <laughs> ko siya dito sa bunbunan sa pagkakaalam ko. Bagsak siya. And then, nung bumagsak siya, hindi ka nakatayo ka agad. Tinuhuran ko na yung likod niya para hindi siya makatayo. And then, I told them to call the cops because the cops is around the corner there. And ayun, dinala namin siya sa presinto. And then, ang tawag dito. And then, nag-police report kami. Mm-hmm. So, another point of yeah, my EDC. Point, uh, makes, it, <laughs> makes it more valuable to the person again. So, yeah. Pretty, so, I know. Ano, like, um, how did you pocket it? Buti na grab mo ka agad. Was it just clipped on you? Got inside the bag and stuff? Diba? It, pocket. Ah, When I go out at night, always in my pocket. Yeah. Um, but, morning lang, it's in my bag. This is my primary uh, self-defense tool, not knives. Oh, the knife. Because knives here, magkakakaso ka. Even self-defense. So, um, primary ko for self-defense, either to or a tactical pen. Okay. Yeah, when And I go... The pens are so useful so now. I, always bring up. I, 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 use, I was gonna add, the pens are so useful now because like, all of the establishments would ask you to sign something at the entrance and you know you're gonna be using the pen that everyone has touched it's really good that you have yeah, I, as well kapag pupunta ka sa line ng grocery or some mall kapag kaayaw mo mag QR code pero most of the time mag QR code na lang ako unless wala sila unless wala sila kasi may mga establishments na wala eh or magamit ko yung pen ko na mismo para hindi na sorry oh, na wala ka oh sorry uh, net was a bit choppy pero yun I was saying na some establishments until this day wala pa rin yung mga QR and sometimes the QR doesn't work hindi naglo-load kaya of course ka talaga uh, okay. sometimes so a pen is very handy it's own your own pen it's either it's copper or your simple panda pen And it's just bring a pen. Yeah, exactly. It's really essential talaga. Yung ibang nga dyan, kung mag-gas, magka, ano yung mga custom-made na mga pens, di ba? Mga fountain pens dyan. Grabe. I, I can't reach that. And I don't really, <laughs> I'm not really into it. Match na yun ang mga watches eh. Hindi naman. millions eh, di ba? So, why? <laughs> <laughs> May din ang checkbook na kasama nun. <laughs> uh, yung halaga pa sa laman ng, ano, ng wallet mo. Oo. Oo nga. Totoo. <laughs> Ay, hindi naman. <laughs> ah, hindi naman. Kasi... Pag dinaro pa naman, pwede ko ibenta yung pen ko. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, same, same with watches and stuff, right? So. Anyway. Yeah, cool. Hey. See, that's that's all that we need to discuss this week. We'll have another session. We'll talk about swords and sharpening and other stuff with other people. Uh, yeah, but that's all for tonight. Thanks, man. Cheers. Thank you, thank you. And I wish still have beer right now. I'm craving yeah, for beer. I'll drink for us. <laughs> hey, all right, thank thanks, you. Man. I'll end the recording. Bye. Peace. Bye.